The nightclub business might be the best, if not one of the, the best passive business in GTA Online. So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to complete the, the nightclub the nightclub in the management for the safe as well as the the nightclub uh, warehouse so overall hope you enjoyed this video thanks for your, thanks for all the support and most importantly let's get started right now so, so before you buy a nightclub I do want to point out that it's not the best for as a first time business you, you need to own a certain amount of business to make money in a bunk in a nightclub you can't make some money for the, the nightclub management however the biggest um the biggest uh, payment is from the nightclub warehouse now to start off uh, a nightclub and the cheapest is somewhere in the absolene island which is all the way in the bottom and that one's obviously one in the lsia nightclub the most expensive one is up and north in the Vinewood Hills. The best one I recommend to go for is the the Strawberry nightclub at the Strawberry. The reason it being is that it's actually this is in the middle of uh, the Los Santos, the city itself, and some of the cell missions are gonna be in multiple drop offs. So it's nice to go from point from make a decision on which one which uh, drop off you want to make before you go to the destination now when it comes to cosmetics they're not really as important what is important is the storage the storage is actually will allow you to carry more more crates from the, from the nightclub and this will allow you to store to make more money the rest itself is not really important they're just more of a cosmetics just to just to make the nightclub look more fancy now when it comes to nightclub management the first uh, way to populate the the nightclub is the the nightclub uh, management where you had to do the missions and to, to populate the the nightclub this is not the best um, technique because uh, this takes um, some time and most of the missions are boring and to make it worse you only get one bo one bar one bar to two and a half bars and this is a little bit more slow if you're if you're not really if you got the time if you don't have the time to fill up the nightclub this can be very slow now the next next uh, technique you can also do is that when you, this is only works if you have a popularity popularity up and you get a text from Marcel that the things are happening in the nightclub the two there's two versions one is you had to take a VIP back home and the other one you had to t you had to kick out a troublemaker this one's also pretty good it's a very this could increase the popularity a lot however this is not this is more for if you have the popularity up a little bit so that what so this is not really the best technique the third technique and probably the best technique in my opinion is hiring a, a DJs this may cost a bit of money cost about ten thousand dollars each for the DJs however this will quickly increase the popularity and the good thing is there's no cooldown on when it comes to hiring a hiring a DJ so this could be efficient way to increase the popularity so once you complete the fill up the popularity the, the money will go to the safe and maximum will be about 250,000 100k maximum each in 48 hours so make sure you grab them before. now when it comes to nightclub warehouse this will this is the if not one of the best this will make the nightclub the best business this will make a, a huge difference when it comes to making a lot of money now before you go over and make some money in the, the warehouse you do need to hire five um, five um, employees and to hire these employees you do need to own the business cash creation it cash organic and print copy is as well as pharmacy and South American ports are pretty much but MC business sporting good is the pretty much the bunker and the cargo and shipment is Cargo shipment is the Vic, the CR warehouse, or the hangar. And once you, ha and this is why you can't, you can't buy this as a, 
nightclub is your first business because you do need to own invest in a, a business so i recommend the just go for the now when it comes to the upgrades it's important that you purchase all free and this will help that way it can help you with um Redu reduce the daily property loss as well as uh, increasing the the warehouse technician and security upgrade also reduces the attack by the enemies and it's also and there's a reason and when it comes to the nightclub like hiring employees I also recommend to uh, count for cash mess a family the cocaine lockup bunker as well as a CR warehouse now when it comes to the now before you do now you fill up the 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 warehouse of the nightclub you also recommend to it's also recommend to get the pounder custom this will roughly cost you about 300k but you can get a trade price if you completely want to sell missions for the nightclub now the pounder is nothing really unique the only thing it does is allow you to carry more nightclub goods which will help you make the most money and do not buy the mule custom because if you sell for like a roughly 1 million let's say if you sell for about 1 million dollars you might there's a good chance you might get the mule and the mule is one of it's a lot more slower than the the pounder truck and not only that it can also it can also um it also has a very bad armor compared to the, the pounder custom so i don't recommend getting the mule the meal also, although the, the pounder does get stuck very easily, you can also put, try to get unstuck if you don't have armor, but that would reduce the resilience. And the weapons is not too not too the, not too great, but if you get the proximity mines, that also helps. And the good thing is about the cell mission vehicles is that it cannot be locked on by incoming missiles, so take advantage of that. Now the. Now the first um, technique to fill up the the warehouse is um, a content by Johan, and this will allow you to fill up a a nightclub. Get the nightclub goods. They will be random, and it's a bit you can do this uh, solo. And the good thing about this is that there will be no enemies, no players attacking it. You do need to be very careful and not blow it up because it can be destroyed. And all you have to do is. There's two versions. One is um, just by the crate by its own, or the other one is just pretty much um, in a vehicle. And when it comes to the and for this one, it does it can be pretty good if you're really struggling with um, getting a business battle. So this can help you if you wanna just have a crate on good. The only downside is that there is a 20 minute cooldown, so this could take uh, some time. Now the second technique to fill up the the nightclub um, the where the warehouse is the business battle which was spawned around roughly about 48 minutes if you're in a free public player lobby now there are different multiple different kind of business battle one is where you had to steal eight crates and the other one you had to steal two crates the eight crates will usually be in a warehouse or something and usually you had to fight for enemies and you just grab the crates and deliver it now when it comes to the two crates you it could be separate or it could be in one vehicle however you gotta be very careful because their enemy other players will also get alerted and they will have ability to take the crate away from you so make sure you're a lot more prepared otherwise you might lose the crate and for the for the vehicle the good thing about the vehicle is that they cannot be locked on by a missiles by homing missile so you can not worry too much about the presser however they can get blown up very easily you can die especially with the ram buggy and the dune fav where they don't have any much protections against explosives so if you get shot by any explosives you will get killed easily so once you once you deliver the cargo which whatever cargo you come from you will pretty much get pretty much fill it up now when it comes to the sell mission I roughly will sell roughly about over one million dollars so you don't have to rely too much on the the max payout and when it comes to the sell out it's not too difficult they'll give you one vehicle only which is really good for solos however you do need to be very careful so if you need to activate ghost organization to prevent uh, losing a full nightclub and you just need to deliver it and you eventually get 
make sure you can do it during a public session so that way you can get that extra bonus and Tony will cut the takeaway 100k away from you and that's all I can say so I hope this video helps out sorry about that if it's um, a little bit late with the special with the double money and nightclub uh, bonus so hope you enjoyed hope this helps out and most importantly have a great day